Ooh. Oh dear, terrible from Angus Gunn, and here's Christian Sade, he drives it towards goal, takes a deflection, and Jaden Anthony heads the rebound over the bar. Well, disastrous defending from Norwich as they presented it straight to the Cherries from the restart on the edge of the penalty area. Sadie went for goal, drove it low towards the bottom left corner. It hit a defender, and as it came back to the edge of the box, Jaden Anthony couldn't keep the header down. Mistake again at the back by the Cherries here. It's Gabriel Sarrar, 25 yards from goal. He's got options to his left. Sarrar shoots. That's a brilliant save from Neto. The rebound from Jordan Hugo is stroked in. Well, the debutant goalkeeper made a fine left-handed save from the initial shot, but as it ran out to Hugo on the angle right-hand side, he drove it firmly and crisply into the bottom left-hand corner, and it's the championship side in front here. Back it comes to Ben Pearson, 25 yards out, clipped into the back post where in comes Mark Anders and it's the bar. Lewis Cook makes the run and here's a chance for Jack Stacey to pull it back into a dangerous area and Jaden Anthony puts it wide. What an opportunity, lovely build up around the penalty area and Jaden Anthony for the second time in the game has missed the target when he should have made the keeper make a save. It's picked up again by Jaden Anthony, right corner of the penalty area into the feet of Sadie, lovely turn from Sadie, deflected and a great save by Gunn. Well, I don't know how the goalkeeper has got his arm up for this. Looked like he'd beat him all ends up in. Back it comes again to Lewis Cook now. Into the feet of Marcondes, edge of the box, turns away, tries to find Sadie, who tries to roll the defender. Brilliant again from Sadie. Can he get a shot away? Oh, superb from Sadie! Marcondes, that's the equaliser! And that is all down to Christian Sadie. Absolutely fantastic centre forward play. Wriggled out a shot. And as the ball ran loose, Marcondes was there to tap it home. Might have got a late call up, Sadie, but he's proving he's worth it. Did his bit. 1 1, Mark on this. Nice layoff by Christie around the corner to Greenwood. Halfway inside the Norwich half of the field. Sadie rolls his man again superbly. Oh, fine save by Gunn. Well, what can you say about Christian Sadie? He's coming closer and closer. Ball to the right-hand side, Anthony trying to go around the outside of his fullback, spring it, Anthony back to the penalty oh, spot, and no. Mark Condes blazes it off the off target. More opportunities go begging for the Cherries, but Christian Sadie again denied by Angus Gunn. Down the right side of the box for Jack Stacey. Chance to drive into the six-yard box. Coming in at the back post is Christie. There, uh, fine save by Gunn. Well, I thought Christie was struggling to keep that in, but not only did he keep it in, he Got managed it to get target. it on target. Great and Angus Gunn saved it. Great save by the keeper. I don't know how he's pulled that one out. Ryan Christie pushes across it. Here's Jaden Anthony. Oh, that's another magnificent save from Gunn. Brilliant goalkeeping. This might be a grandstand last 10 minutes. Here comes Pukki for Norwich. Across to Ida. The two substitutes combined for Norwich. Pukki slides it across. Ida slid it home inside the six yard box. And with eight minutes remaining, our Norwich going to dump the cherries out for the second year in a row. Back it goes to Christie, and now here comes Owen Bevan. So the Cherries, we count up, I can't, I've got time to count up how many academy players are on the pitch now, but here's Sadie, Dom Sadie, down the left side of the box, drives one in across the penalty area, and it's an equaliser! What a moment for Brooklyn Genesini, with a minute of coming off the bench, made by the two substitutes, Dom Sadie from the left-hand side, crossed it across goal, and Genesini poaching in from close range, and in the 92nd minute, the two substitutes have pulled it back to 2-2. Emiliano Marcondes with the first spot kick of this shootout to decide a place in the third round of the Carabao Cup. It's going to be right-footed, it's a four or five step run-up for the Dane. Gunn is dancing along his line at the moment. Here comes Marcondes, slots it into the bottom left-hand corner to that, make it one. That is almost the perfect penalty. Here comes Puki. That's an unstoppable penalty as well. Top left corner. Neto went the right way. Yeah, he did. Here's Lewis Cook, then the cherry skipper. He does drill it, and he finds the bottom left corner as well, exactly where Marcondes went. 
Short run up for Todd Cantwell, and he's hit the bar. Good, that's what you get for being flush, son. Here he comes, bottom left corner again. Three from three, the Jerrys. This is Gibbs. This time knocks it into the right-hand side of the goal, and that makes it 3-2. Still advantage, Cherries. The Norwich fans behind the goal trying to put him off, but Sadie, no problem. 4-2. He absolutely loves it. Right to our fans. Is Neto the hero? Here comes Ida. Finds the bottom left corner as well. Another of the good penalties. Cherries fans on the far side are coming down the steps. They're expecting Christie to score here. Up against Angus Gunn for a place in the third round of the Carabao Cup. It's the Scotsman, Ryan Christie. Scores and it's all over. After 90 plus one minutes, the Cherries were heading out. After 90 plus two, they were level. And some minutes later, Ryan Christie's penalty sparks a mob of Cherries players in front of those supporters who get their reward for the long, long Tuesday night trip. The Cherries players go running over to celebrate in front of them. And it is job done. It goes with form below. The Premier League team are through, but not without on a mighty scare.